For me, Diablo was a legendary series for how understated everything was. You were a lone traveler, you were faced with grimmer circumstances than Blizzard's future, undergoing horrible trials by yourself. The silence of the endeavor, the danger you felt, not only when the hordes of demonic beasts appeared, but during the anticipation of those events. Isolated and lonely, you traveled through landscapes that were ravaged, but never did you feel that the horror was directly shown to you. Abandoned houses, fire and destruction wherever you looked, a world without hope, without mirth, offset only occasionally by a death dabbling of humor or cheer, a world that quietly sat still and waited for you to traverse, where you could only survive by being contemplatory, careful, and of course full of badass abilities that could slaughter bitches. Diablo Immortal got rid of all this shit. I've seen pineapples better than this fucking game. Yeah, so since it's all the rage, right guys, it's the hot new release, I figured why not? I don't have a phone, but I do have a computer, I have nothing better to play, let me spin up Diablo Immortal and see if Blizzard produced a phone game worth a fuck. No such luck there. So the game starts up, unfortunately, and you get your choice of character class and since barbarian is offered my brain offers me no other choice so i picked the barbarian and then suddenly we're playing the sims <sighs> so i endeavored to make my barbarian as narrow and odd looking as this dog shit interface will allow me all the while believe me with a big ass frown on my face i tend to be optimistic about things actually probably not probably the wrong way to put it i'm a salty dickhead after all but regardless i promise i usually don't start a game and instantly begin frowning i decided to name myself david brevik mostly out of curiosity if that name would be banned for being someone who knows how to make a video game. And then the narrative begins, which I'll make a quick criticism, but this shit is why I didn't like Diablo 3 nearly as much. The expository dump in the rump is not a fun way to get acquainted with the world, even more so when invisible walls and random events hinder your progression. It feels cheap and gross and bad and... hang on... Cinnamon stock... oh, let's see... Uh, cheap, gross, bad, shit, balls, ass, dick, fuck... Yeah, that sums it up. Okay, I know you're aching for some complaints, so here's one. This game isn't a game, it's a piece of shit. Yeah, you might notice the script is written in one day, just so you know, so don't expect copious quality, just like the game designers when making this tripe. I promise I'll make some points, I'm not only trying to hate this game. For the record, if you enjoy this, you have all the right. Please enjoy whatever you enjoy, and don't let me sway you. That being said, I hated every second of this ball sack of a game. Never have the words, I'd rather be playing Diablo 3, echoed so many times in my brain than during the time here. It makes D3 seem like the best game ever made. Genuinely, if you were designing a shitty game and are just trying to pitch it to someone at a trade show or something, just have a large screen with Diablo Immortal playing next to it, and I guarantee your game will look fantastic. Alright, so let's just jump into it. The game plays vaguely like a Diablo game. You have weapons, you have armor, you have attack skills, you level up, you make no choices, and for a while I was able to play the game with no gears and no skills. Yeah, actually. Exhibit A! I deliberately ignored picking up gear and kept fighting bosses with only my default attack without moving. Like this big dog boss. I literally just have one hand in my pants while playing this. I'm holding M1 and just slapping his face, eating every attack with the worst possible gear, and I won. To be fair, this stops only a little ways after this, where you better have some new equipment because you're going to just die if you don't. But genuinely, I didn't read anything on my gear stats. I just looked for the green up arrow and let the game piss stats onto my character for me. By the way, this game is pay to win trash. Yeah, I won't harp on about this for very long. Everyone else has that covered. But the real nail in the testicles is, of course, the cash shop full of things that give you better attack procs, gear drops. But all I really wanted was something to make the game stop. I don't give props, even if the game's playable on desktop. In all ways, it's a flop. Biggest fucking bars I've ever seen. Yeah, Decker Kane is here, undoubtedly wishing that he died in this game instead of the next one. But real quick, regarding a story beat, what is Decker Kane, worldly plot device, even talking about here? Firstly, he refers to Bale as Demon Lord Bale. What are we playing fucking Disgaea now? Bale was never referred to like that, at least not in the games. There's like five books of Diablo lore I haven't read, so maybe I'm in the wrong. But one thing I'm fairly positive about is that if Bale, the Lord of Destruction himself, with the entire big-ass aquarium of the World Stone, was able to be killed by a guy with two swords, then why is some, quote, demons with a little shard any threat whatsoever? Also, yeah, your character never wants to shut up and just attack for you. Instead, if you're spamming your moves when they're on cooldown, he'll mumble some nonsense bull hockey about this and that. Never rush a child to book but rushing out a terrible product is just fine. Early on, they give you this auto-navigation thing in case you'd rather the game play itself for you, which yeah, I would. How, how about you play yourself? I'll just play with myself and everything will work out for the best. In general, the gameplay isn't worth talking about. It's free. You have an auto-attack, you fill with your skills, you just cycle around, get things off cooldown. I mean, things are so routine that you're going to start directing yourself towards the bed about 20 minutes into the experience. Oh, the complaint list runs deep, have you noticed? But one of my tippy-top things that bothers me is Diablo Immortal treats you like a baby dangling things that are supposed to be enticing. Like, oh look, it's Deckard Kane. It's the necromancer from Diablo 2. Lick my balls hair. 
Leoric, what the fuck? Where are we? Isn't this, this isn't where he was buried, right? I don't know. I actually don't, I, we, he's dead anyway. Are you serious, Blizzard? How lazy are you? Why stop with Leoric again? Where's the butcher? That guy was cool 25 years ago. Let's see him in every single game too. Not to mention, this plot is balls. You're just some badass. I'm putting that in fat quotes, but regardless, as the traveler of tremendous power and legend, you just come up to people that were in other Diablo games and say, yeah, sure, I'll go save the day. Your motivation is limited to your own imagination, which will be the only thing that could possibly entertain you as you play. Oh, hey, speaking of rehashing characters that people like, it's Charcy. Wonder if this means I can Charcy this whole fucking game because I don't think it's worth keeping. Yeah, in opposition to my opinion from earlier, but there's nothing good about these new characters. Not only do you see them for about five seconds, but they're mostly vaguely British whoever's who suck. Also, what's with this game and D3 having everyone have such exuberance? Can't we underplay the interactions a little bit, you know, so people might learn to love the world and the inhabitants, not just, oh, the demons is so scary. Well, let's do our best, Traveler. You're the best person I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you for existing. <laughs> this game's writing is giving me neuron self-destruction syndrome. Hey, were you tired of the constant positivity? Well, here's a complaint then. The UI pisses me off in many ways, but it was a phone game, so it makes sense why it's not good. The problem with it is that everything has no mouse over functionality, so seeing your health, your stats, skill names, gear, and you know, everything in the game, it's just kind of hidden. Easy to find the cash shop though, just a few button presses away. Anyway, I got to the town of Westmark, or whatever it was, I think it was called that, but I was just so excited to slap the game off and start writing, so I didn't get any further than this. I have heard reports that later in the game you start having to pay for greater rifts or something like that, so it's Diablo 3 except you have to pay now. So I know I didn't have a fully comprehensive look at the game, but it did only come out yesterday to be fair. And this is my formal promise, I am adding Diablo Immortal to my series of finding the best ARPG ever made and will give it a big boy review as soon as it's, you know, done. It's probably going to lose in the worst way possible, but that's for the future. This video interrupted my playing, reviewing, and enjoying of a much better game, so I'm going to get back to that now. Thanks for watching, thanks for bitching, I'm going to go take a piss on Blizzard Entertainment's office.